and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to go over what you need to be doing with your coins and your team before the Zero Chill promo starts and also some Zero Chill news. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because they did kind of hint at something about Zero Chill. That's kind of a little bit annoying, to be quite honest with you guys. I'm going to kind of go over where we're at right now. It is December 10th, which says a lot about what this promo is going to be like in comparison to a few days ago. Now, guys... This promo typically should have been dropped already if this was years past, so it's kind of concerning that it's still not even out, which is why the dynamic of this promo might be a lot different than we might be expecting. Now, I'll get into all that as we get into the video, but guys, don't, don't forget, it is the 25 days of Pudmas. Giveaways every day up until the last day of Christmas. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below the secret word and your console that you're gonna hear throughout the video. That covers that. Now, guys, the other winners, I am going to be buying up the card draft for this. I have two to three people lined up because they took a little bit to answer me, and then I wasn't home, but I got them lined up. I'm going to buy that after this video, and then we should be back up to date for today's. Now, I got to do, like I said, comment on all the videos and do all the three things. You're entered to win. Now, back to what I was saying. So, typically, well, last year, the December promo, or the Christmas promo, or the Zero Show, whatever you like to call it, was dropped on December 6th, which would have meant that the promo would have been out already for almost four to five days, and we would have already started. Now... We had expected this year's Zero Chill to be similar to last year's segmented. Out of position first, then Zero Chill, then the Ghost of Madden, then the Presence. But they were only able to do that because we started on the 6th. So we could do out of position from like the 6th to the 12th. Then we could do Zero Chill from like, I don't know, 6th to like the, the 9th. Then we could out of position from like the 9th to the 13th. And then we could uh, unveil the Presence of Ghost of Madden from the 13th to the 17th, 16th. And then because the Presence, the Presence typically would open anywhere between like the 17th and 31st like that's those are the dates they start opening up so it's concerning that we're starting so late because they did announce that it's more i from what i heard from people tell me from the stream that they hinted at that'll be next week now it better be this week but if it's not if it's next week that really sucks if it's next week let's say what day could it even be it have to be like the 16th the 15th and that's not even next week that's still kind of this week so if they're really committing to next week it'll be like the 17th and at that point we're only gonna have about seven, what is it, 17? We'll have like eight days until Christmas. So that's really concerning that that'll change the dynamic of the whole Christmas promo and kind of how we're looking at it. Because if it comes out, we only have like what, eight days until Christmas? That's literally the shortest promo ever. That's what they did with the harvest. The harvest was kind of horrible. Like it was too short, it was bad. The only thing that saved, the only reason we didn't trash the harvest was because the blitz was cool and it came right into it. And there's supposed to be a Christmas blitz also. So I really don't know how they plan to do this. Now, as far as what I'd be doing with my coins and my team now that we know the Christmas promo might not be segmented, it might be a quick hitter. And that's going to suck because this is the Christmas promo, the most exciting part of the year. So I hope it's not going to be a quick hitter. But if it is, that means the Blitz will probably hit a quick... I imagine the Blitz will still be there no matter what. So we still can anticipate the Blitz. Now as far as currency and snowflakes and presents, I hope that's still there too. Because the way they're looking, the way they've been doing this is kind of concerning me. Just the slightest bit. It's a little bit too late already. Like I like to enjoy the whole month of Christmas with the Christmas promo. It really sucks that, and of course, I'm a content creator. I'm not, I was gonna have so much fun doing this, and they're gonna drop it so late. Kind of sucks because the Christmas promo can only go as long as to like the 31st. So, and even then, it might not even go that far. That might be the Blitz already. Now, as far as coins, guys, like I've been telling you, initially I said the coin stack you wanted was a million coins. Now, with the Christmas promo looking to be a little bit shorter, you could probably get away with 750, 700k because a million coins is more so like. So you could buy a lot, sell a lot, buy a lot, sell a lot. But if the Christmas promo is going to be a little bit shorter than anticipated, you might not have even many, that many days to even go about doing this whole pattern if they even go through that. So don't worry if you have a little bit less coins than I we anticipated initially. But it's always good to have more. Like Trust me, if you can have a million, have a million. But you can get, you can get away with a little bit less at this point because we really don't know what's coming now. It's coming a little bit later. Now, as far as selling team stuff, I went over that in the market video yesterday and the other video before that, kind of like what I'd be doing right now. I honestly think it's about time to just start cutting some bait to build up for this promo. I mean, I know we're hyping it a little bit, but you have to imagine it's going to be the best one of the year. I mean, at least that's what I'm imagining, but it's coming at a very, very late date, and I don't entirely know why. Like I said, if this was last year, the Christmas promo would be on day four or five already, which is kind of confusing, a confusing aspect to most of this. Now, like I said, I imagine most of these cards will take a massive hit during the Christmas promo. Because more than likely, well, for most, not just Christmas promo, we're also going to have the NFL 100 coming out throughout that time too. So as far as like Michael Irvin, guys, and like Michael Irvin, I think we'll take a hit in price because we will be getting the NFL 100 wide receivers, which more than likely will be guys like, like Jerry Rice, 
Randy Moss. We'll probably get one of those two. And if we don't, we'll get one of them with the Christmas promo. So Michael Evans probably take a big hit, guys. I can't really recommend that you hold on to him for that much longer. I also don't think his price will come up much more either. Just some quick little tips right there. Running back should be okay for quite a bit. Most NFL 100 players should be okay for quite a bit because they are the top players of their position. And lucky for us, NFL 100 only drops one of each position, like only one drop of each position per week. So they can't overshadow themselves. So they should be okay for a decent amount of time. So you don't really have to worry about these when it comes to building up your stack. But guys, the whole goal, the whole excitement for Christmas was presents and re-rolling and buying low, selling high. Now, that process is like a two week long process, three week long process, and if they're gonna drop this late, it's gonna really impact our strategy, which means guys, stay tuned. I will have videos for you guys once this come, actually comes out and I can in depthly go over what we should be able to do. But now, as far as predicting, it really makes it very, very tough. Secret word for today is Gingerbread House. Comment down below, Gingerbread House. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Once you do those things, you are entered to win the giveaway. Good luck. Because what we anticipated to happen doesn't appear like it's gonna be happening. I, don't, I really don't know why they're doing it so late. Now, it could be one of two things. They have so much planned for us that they had to like, it's going to be a banger and have it perfect. Or they're lazy. They were later on the promo. They weren't done coding yet. And that, that's probably the more than likely scenario. So, I mean, guys, if they ruin Christmas promo, if they ruin the Christmas promo, that'll be it. Like that, that's when I, that's when um, Madden Twitter will explode. Everyone's going to freak out in the A because that's like, that's a big deal. It really is a big deal. I really hope they don't go about messing this up. Because there was so much, we were ready to make so many coins, have fun with presents. And the, the beauty of the Christmas promo is that it's so long, typically, the whole, almost the whole month of December, that we can really have fun. Like, it just feels like it never ends. Harvest was harvest was like two days. Harvest came out and then was gone. Most feared was at least like a week and a half. None of these promos have felt that long. And like, Mud Heroes was like, they dropped and then they were done. Like, that was it. Like, it was just way too quick. Mud Heroes was like a week. Everything's been like a week. A pro, like a promo program, whatever you want to call it, should not be a week. It should be most of that month considering how much EA's like, you know, if they want to make their game longer, make us play longer, maybe they shouldn't make give us promos last week because our favorite promo should not be over already. But guys, as far as, like I said, with the team and coins, I still think we want to follow the same trajectory and the same route. I wouldn't say go all out for it because we don't exactly know the exact details and dates of everything, but I'd still say the same trajectory of where you do with your coins and team still kind of applies. I still want to be selling some stuff because like I said, the Christmas promo, no matter who, when, where, what happens with it, it still will crash the market. It's still going to release better cards than these. It's still going to be hype. So people are still going to sell their other cards. Now, once it actually drops to sell, it will be a lot worse. And if we get a new currency, pretty much when you sell these cards now, they're holding some value because of training. If they do drop a new currency like snowflakes or snowballs, people are not going to be so concerned with these cards anymore because all they're going to want is the snowflakes. So then the cards will drop even more than anticipated. So I just recommend you sell off what you don't need. Now, don't 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 message me saying, should I should I sell down my tripled powered up Tyler Lockett with time to spread? No, no. If he has all that on him, just hold on to him. I don't I don't advise I don't advise selling fully powered up cards unless it's the top piece and you could do without them for now. But typically, if you have a fully powered up card, you probably spent more into them than it's going to Call, that's gonna cost you more to even take them back out and you're gonna lose coins don't bother if you have them all the way up just keep them that's my personal advice now if you have Devin white on your team which is lockdown times two just take the lockdown times two offer funded and go put him up in the block like obviously he's good and all but every promo every week there's better cards being dropped so holding out to cards is always like the worst thing you can do in madden i have to do it as a content creator because i'm always busy making videos and i always want to have a good team for you guys i can never just sit there auctioning for hours and doing all my stuff but kind of how it works and i don't really mind i kind of like having my team but that's because i've had the coins to spare i know i know what it's like when you don't have all the coins to spare you can't holding on to a card for two weeks to kill your entire coin stack if you only have 300k coins to spare now these cards these cards especially are probably gonna crash down they already are on the verge of just completely crashing down to below 100k and some of them already have so i wouldn't i wouldn't really recommend that you hold on to these for that long again another thing but you might still have a few more days because it does appear like the promo dropping a little bit later very very upsetting now, the only thing they could do to really mess this up, like, real, real bad. Well, before I get into that, guys, as far as your team goes, real quick, I wouldn't recommend you start building it up now. A lot of people like to do that. They see the market coming down. They want to build up their team, build up their team, buy their team. But then when the Christmas promo drops, those cards crash even more. And then you want to go buy your team. And they're crazy expensive, all the new cards. So I wouldn't build up your team now. I know it's so enticing when the market crashes like this to go buy your team, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then you're gonna end up with you're gonna say it's like you're gonna end up, end up with last season's cards. Now, if you're no money spent and you're a grinder, that's more than okay. But I'm talking about I'm talking about for the guys that just have a bunch of coins, they just like to have the best team. No money spent, guys. I understand that you have to take advantage of crashes like this because that's the only way you can get some of those cards that we otherwise couldn't afford. And obviously, powered up and everything on the right team, they can still be pretty beastly. But as far as 
the biggest thing they could do is a mistake is if they do not incorporate presence right if they do not incorporate the blitz right and if they make this promo short and rush like they did all the other ones because the beauty of the christmas promo on top of that is like it drops to six right to do the out of position solos first and the out of position players first you get that done you have three days that's so much fun you, you get to enjoy them you can't enjoy things when it all comes out at once like you know if it's rushed in one week then it's gonna be like Every day is going to be new stuff. You're never going to get involved. With the out of position first, it was like, okay, so only out of positions are in game. I'll get the out of position here. I'll play with Walter Payton for a few days. Oh, that was fun. Okay, let me sell him back. Zero chill drops. Oh, there's a, there's a sequence to get a free zero chill player. Let me play. Get your zero chill player. Have some fun. Have some fun. And then a few days later, Ghost of Madden dropped. Okay. Oh, the presents are here. Okay. You like slowly get into it. We get to make videos for you. We slowly get to learn it all. But when it's, it's going to all drop rushed and, un and unoriented like that, like, I, I just I just feel like there's going to be there's gonna be mistakes made, guys. But that is about it for the video. Borderline ramp, borderline coins, borderline team. I covered almost everything there, but it's kind of just—it's just kind of annoying. It really is. I hope that they don't end up messing this up more than I already think they might. But it should still be fun, no matter what. We still like Madden, so it's gonna be fun no matter what. But I feel like our just temper your expectations a little bit because we're gonna get burnt on this. Because it is better for the video. To enter the giveaway, make sure you comment down below the secret word and your console. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like the video, and once you do those things, you are entered to win, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.